Now, welcome to Civil Services 2014 Mark 6 Paper 1 Analysis. Another paper you must have been now well versed with what are the types of questions in it and which areas are good for you, which areas are bad for you, which areas you can perform well, where you are strong, where you are weak, and certainly the quality of questions and some types of questions that come in the examination. Let's see another some of the set of questions. Before that, just have a look on the number of questions, the relative and the subject then further i would say don't stick to the number of questions if they may vary in the examination upsc has a very brilliant knack of surprising every time with a new set of questions and new set of configuration so weightage may differ so that's the breakup of topics in front of you coming to the questions well question number one about our nationalist and independence movement leader tej bhada sapru well, Tej Bahadur Sapru was a liberal nationalist who played an important role in Indian national movement. Which of the following statements about his contribution in the freedom struggle of India are correct? Well, he was the head of Liberal Foundation Federation of India. Then he defended the extremists during major merit conspiracy case. He took part in all of the three roundtable conferences. Then he played major role in declaration of Poor Swaraj by the Indian National Congress in 1929. Now, well... He is among the few who took part in all of the all the three roundtable conferences. So, well, three is not a difficult thing to remember. So, well, if three is there, so we actually ex exclude option A. Well, again, I say yes, option two is, a, is there in all the options. So, two is also certainly correct. So, well, two and three are correct. So, one and four are left to be searched. So, he was the head of Liberal Federation of India, then he played major role in declaration of Poon Swaraj. Now, this information you should know, he was among the few who opposed the Poon Swaraj. So, well, if 4 is wrong, then we certainly have, uh, we have only one option left, that is C. Because among the given options, A is already discarded, B and C, D can be discarded because of option 4. So, that's question number 1, answer C. Next, which of the following statements are correct? Now, Montagu Chemsford reform, I would also say, ask you to remember who was Montagu and who was Chemsford. I give you exercise, who Montagu and Chemsford, similarly, Minto and Morley. So, these reforms commonly called, who are they? I would give you a hint, one of them is Viceroy, was Viceroy of India and one of them is Secretary of State to India. This position was created after 1958, after the... 1857 mutiny. Now, coming to the question, the question asks which of the following statements are correct. Now, the first, the first time brought provision by which official majority in provincial legislative assemblies was gone. It was actually brought in by 1909 by Minto Morley reforms, which is also called Indian Councils Act 1909. Then, Indian Councils Act 1919, government that is Government of India Act 1919, provided more representatives and for first time by Campbell Central Legislature. Absolutely correct. And transfer of subjects to provinces during the British rule in India was made on the principle of delegation of legislation rather than division of powers. That is also correct. So, 2 and 3 stands correct. Consider the following statements with regard to Big Bang Theory. Now, not a very difficult question. You can select. Now, if you know that if option 1 is wrong, then it's very easy. A, C, and D can be discarded. Let's see option 1. In the beginning, all matter forming a universe existed in one place in a form of tiny ball. Well, that's absolutely correct. Now, using this first question, second option, first statement, you can see tiny ball had infinite temperature but finite density. A dot, all the mass situated in a single dot, by simple logic, means a bit of understanding of science is needed. We can say that the density must be infinite. So, that's finite density is insensible, is not correct here. Then at the Big Bang, the tiny ball exploded violently, which led to huge expansion. This is also correct. That is the main theory of Big Bang. So, 1 and 3 stands correct. The GDP contributed by any sector of an economy is proportional to the number of people involved in that sector. Well, there is no such relation. In India, we can see 52% of people involved in agriculture with just 15% of contribution to GDP. On the other hand, around 14-15% of people are involved in services with a contribution around 55-58% to 58 to the GDP. So, well, number of people involved is not directly, um, is not the reason, could not be a reason for the uh, GDP. Then similarly, GDP, GNP 
comes along with it because these both the factors are unrelated to the uh, population. So neither one nor two is correct. Then UNESCO has warned Australia over Great Barrier Reef. Now recently they have warned and why the reason, the reason here, all the reasons are there. Must read an article about this in the newspaper. You can certainly see in the newspaper. But then these are the reasons. The reef authorities recently granted permission for dumping of to create one of the world's biggest coal ports. The dredge sentiments alongside coral can smother or poison coral. Then Australia wants to export coral reserves from the Galilee Basin through the Abbott Point. Well, and then the whole news extract here is in front of you. You can read this and we have reason. We have all the three. Such factual questions do not worry. You will have to, means, uh, you will have to answer some of them. All of them, it's very difficult to answer. Some of them you can easily dug in the exam or you can smartly use the options to correct, to get the correct answer. Question number six. Consider the following statements regarding uh, VV, VVPAT. Now, VVPAT is the new technology, it's the future technology which will replace electronic voting machines. Uh, there have been many reports about the misuse and the efficacy and the doubts regarding the use of EVMs. So, under VVPAT, when a vote is cast, a receipt is generated showing the serial number, name, and symbol of the candidate. Yes, it is true, must know about this. It is being developed by CDEC. No, it's being developed by Bharat Electronics Limited. B E L. So, well, VVPAT system is developed due to doubts in voting machine, electronic voting machine. Yes, correct. So, 1 and 3 stands correct. So, again, I say where, which is the key uh, statement here. If you don't know second, then you have only two options left. Well, if you don't know third, you have only one option left. If you don't, if you don't know one, you have only one option left. So generally in these questions, you just know that you can get the answer by knowing one or two options. You need not to know all the answers. I have said it once. I am saying it again that such things can be done. So well, option B stands correct here. Next question, in regard to Bt bacteria, which of the following statements is or are correct? Protein coded by cry to ab gene controls the worm attack on cotton plant. It's correct. Protein coded by cry 1 ac it's again not on wheat plant, it's again on cotton plant. So, this stands correct, wrong and protein coded by cry 1 ab engine gene uh, controls the worm attack on maize plant. So, well, 1 and 3, very, very factual, such questions most of the times people don't know. You can duck those ones and well, the best part is if you don't know second, you have only one option. So, if you know, if you know, if you know that second is wrong you can easily get the answer so uh, somewhere they help with the question also you need not know all the three statements consider the following statements in regard to Rolot Act now well Rolot Act it was enforced in 1919 if you remember uh, after Rolot Act there were heavy protests then it provided the in British Indian government massive power to repress political activities well again very well known after World War One, just at the conclusion of World War One, this was used by British government. It allowed the British government to imprison anybody without a trial for indefinite time, rather it was for two years. So very close answer, you have most of the parts correct, rather just one fact wrong. So one and two stands correct. Again, if you see, if you don't know one, if one is correct or wrong, you can have, you have only one option. So, well, such things do look into the options. You can find some of the time. Sometimes you can get the answer using just one option. Question number nine. The allocation of seats in Raj Sabha to the states is based on the population of that state. Well, of course, we know it's correct. It's based on the population. A member of Raj Sabha should be a domicile of the state from which he or she is elected. Currently, there is a doubt about this. Many people think that the law has been enacted. But right now, it uh, there should be domicile of state from which he is elected. It's not necessarily true. The members of Raj Sabha are elected by elected members of assemblies of states and union territories. Of course, these are the members who elect them. So, 1 and 3 stands correct. Not a difficult question. You should know about this. So, C option stands correct. Consider the following statements with regard to behavior of seismic waves inside that. Well, the P waves, S waves. 
The primary waves are analogous to light waves and can travel through both solid and liquid material. Now, well, is it true? Well, it's they are analogous ones and secondary waves are longitudinal ones. Or the second waves are analogous to sound waves and can penetrate solid medium only. Well, yes, sound waves are longitudinal. They are in this way. They have rear fractions and com compactions. So this way they travel on the other way and primary waves travel like a wave, light waves. So well, both the options are correct. And we know because of the secondary waves, we are able to identify if the medium is solid or fluid. So it moves only through solid where it can have shear. In It cannot move in the absence of shear. Then a shadow zone is a zone where no seismic wave is observed. Yes, this is the shadow zone. On the earth, there is created, suppose from here the seismic waves originated. So generally the waves actually travel through all the direction, but there are certain areas where it does not reach. So suppose if this is the one, then this area will be the shadow zone where no wave reaches. So one, two, three, all stands. Consider the following indicators. Now read the following indicators. Now for what the indicators of inflation, which of the among are indicators of inflation. The redistribution of income from one hand to another. Yes, it happens. The some of them start to gain profit and some of them start to gather losses. And this is the indicator of inflation. Higher exports and low imports. Rather, it's the opposite. It's the lower exports and higher imports. Social and political unrest. It is not directly related as an indicator of inflation. Rather, it may become a reason for inflation in the later stages, but not definite. Depreciation of domestic currency. Yes, now when the imports start increasing, there is generally a depreciation of domestic currency. Then further, the value of money also decreases. So overall, 1 and 4 stands correct. So a bit logical question. You can easily solve by using the logic. And if you don't know, then of course, must work on these basic concepts of economic. The future of tiger hinges not just on population expansion, but also on gene flow. Now, well, gene flow is vital in protecting existing genetic diversity of these endangered species. Well, we know gene flow very, very nice. Low genetic diversity can positively impact the fitness of a species. Well, we know low genetic diversity means high risk. So it uh, means it will negatively impact. In case of low gene flow, the tiger populations would have to compensate with an unattainable growth rate to maintain current levels of genetic diversity. Well, these all the three statements I think can, you can, one can get easily by the logic also. Now, well, option two is certainly wrong and that gives us the answer C. So that is why not a very difficult question. One can easily, one easily knows that low genetic diversity is a negative impact. So not a difficult question. Use your strengths. Gen general studies doesn't mean only the facts that you need. Somewhere analytical part, logical reasoning can give you an answer. Good answer. Because of the following statements regarding Adivasi Shiksha Rana Yojana. Well, regarding the Adivasis and for their education, both the statements are straight correct. So you can actually read from here and can get the statements ready, uh, means can get some idea ready about what is this. The scheme is aims to extend loan at concessional rate of interest to the eligible scheduled tribe candidates for pursuing <coughs> professional and technical courses including PhD. <coughs> now for such question I will again say these are purely fact based question. It's very difficult to use logic here until unless they provide any specific hint. Uh, now in such question just read about what's there and prepare these questions for your exam means what is about the Adivashi Siksha Yojana. So these two statements can give you something. Because of the following statements regarding the biodigester. Now we have a statement regarding biodigester. It is a tank which digests organic material with the help of oxygen. Rather it's oxygen free, it's an anaerobic tank. So well, option one stands wrong. And if one stands wrong, then certainly we have only one option left, two and three. So such questions you can get the uh, in this question we know if anyone is wrong we have one option ready for us now then rest of the two stands correct it is used to treat black water on site it helps in eliminating pathogens and malignant bacteria consider the following statements in regard to khilafat movement we know the 
Khilafat movement along with non-cooperation movement that made the non-cooperation movement very successful. The aim of movement was to protect the position of Ottoman Sultan as the spiritual leader of Muslims. Well, after the World War I, when the Ottoman Turks lost, the Caliphate of Turkey was uh, ended and then we know Khilafat movement also came in which was to protect the position of Ottoman Sultan as the spiritual leader of Muslims. It was organized in Bombay in March 19. Yes, Muhammad Ali and Shaka Ali, two active Khilafat leaders, denied having a relation. Rather, they supported non-cooperation movement and they were very instrumental in making Khilafat movement along with non-cooperation movement very, very successful. So, third option stands, all, stands wrong, one and two stands correct. Which of the following features of Constitution of India have been borrowed from Government of India Act 1935? Now, legislative procedure, if we know, is borrowed from Constitution of United Kingdom, bicameralism, another United Kingdom feature, federation with a strong center from Canadian Constitution. So from 1935, we are left with the office of governor and the emergency provisions. Well, you know, one thing, uh, remember that uh, from these, well, emergency provisions are actually from German constitution, but here when we see the question, following features have been borrowed from Government of India Act, these were included in Government of India Act also. So that is why they become the answer to this question. If you say that, if of which of the concepts were only in India, well, that's not the question. Now, 3, 4, 5, they were later inducted and <clears throat> it, they were not in 1935 Government of India Act. That is why the answer stands 1 and 2 as the correct. So, C option stands correct. Which of the following is or are correctly matched? Now, from this, now these are mountain peaks, rather less known. Bamba Dura is in Uttarakhand. It was recently in news also and that is why so now we have 1, 2 and 3, that is why as the correct answer. Now very, very um, factual question. So such questions, be ready for surprise answers. So don't use your guesswork and use your sense. If you know one or two of them or if you don't know one of them, you can manipulate the options. Now consider the following statements. A person who neither works nor seeks employment, a person who is working or being engaged in an economic activity. Now, which of them forms a part of labor force? Now, remember, labor force includes both the employed and unemployed. Who can work? Who can work is the part of labor force. So, well, if that is the case, a person who neither works nor seeks employment, he could still be the part. person who is working or being engaged in any economic activity, he is certainly the part. A person who is not working but actively seeking employment. Well, of course, he is the part. So, these two are the part. A person who neither works nor seeks employment. Now, this st stands a bit, there stands a bit of ambiguity. From the given statement, it seems that a, this person is able to work, is, is a person, he is available for work, and then he neither works nor seeks employment. So, there is a bit of ambiguity here with the statement. So, well, some of you might get confused, but statement will be much clearer in the real exam. So, well, 2 and 3 stands correct as per the solutions, but then person who neither works nor seeks employment, of course, we generally presume that he is not available for work in this case. So, he is not the one who is eligible, who is eligible to be a part of labor force. Question number 19. Why carbon dioxide is meteorologically a very important gas? Well, here are the reasons. It is transparent in incoming solar radiation and, out, and to the outgoing terrestrial radiation. Rather, it is opaque. So, it's an information you must know. It uh, absorbs a part of solar radiation and reflects back some part of it towards the Earth's surface. Well, of course, carbon dioxide molecules act as hygroscopic nuclei around which water vapor condenses. Well, hygroscopic nuclei is generally dust in the air, which is mainly responsible. So, overall, second option is the only correct option. One and three stands wrong. Consider the following statements about Ajanta paintings. Now, Ajanta cave show two clear-cut faces of paintings with depiction of Buddha. Well, of course, uh, it's correct. And all the paintings in Ajanta caves are frescoes. Not all, they are rather murals also. 
Well, as explanation is given on the next page, for many years Janata paintings were called frescoes, but this is an erroneous term in this case, and they are now referred to as murals. Due to fact that they were painted on a dry surface and not on a wet surface. The monument of Ajanta has 31 caves which were excavated in the horseshoe shaped of gorge of Vaghora river in two phases. Ajanta caves can be classified into two phases, the Himayan and the Mahayan. So the second option stands wrong. Do read more about the Ajanta and Alora caves. There have often been questions with respect to it in other UPSC papers also. Consider the following statements regarding land revenue system introduced by the British. Now, the share of land revenue under Pandama permanent revenue settlement was equivalent to the share of land. Well, Rayotwari was more ex extensive, so 51% for Rayotwari and 19% for permanent land revenue. John Shore was main proponent of permanent land revenue system. Well, is it? Yes, John Shore was the main proponent. Shore committee, if you know, is a famous regarding the permanent settlement. So, two only stands correct. Now, besides the directive mentioned in part 4 of the constitution, there are certain other directives which are addressed in article 351 and which are justiciable by court. Well, IRT principles are not justiciable by court. Easy question. Doctrine of harmonious construction is part of directive principles of state policy mentioned in constitution of India. Yes. So, we have second option again only correct. Now, besides the directive mentioned in part 4 of the constitution, there are certain other directives which are addressed in article 351 and which are justiciable by court. Well, IRT principles are not justiciable by court. Easy question. Doctrine of harmonious construction is part of directive principles of state policy mentioned in constitution of India. Yes. So, we have second option again only correct. A small pasture area found along the slope of Kashmir is called Murg. Well, the Gul Murg, the Son Murg, these are the areas which are small pasture areas. Small pasture found along the slopes of Uttarakhand are known as Bogyal. Again correct. Karevas are lacustrine deposits found in Pampur Valley of Kashmir. Yes, for the saffron is also grown in this area. Now, 1, 2, 3 all stands correct from geography. Which of the following are not correct about gender inequality index? It measures economic loss within a country due to gender eco inequality. Well, of course, it measures the economic loss. So, this is correct. It uses three dimensions, reproductive health, empowerment and labor market participation. Correct. These three, remember this and by heart this, these three are the these three are them. So, well, 1 and 2 is correct. We know 3 and 4 are wrong. Then which is the option? Well, only 3 and 4 stands. So, we can easily get the answer by these two options. So, there are no previous indicators. There have been many previous indicators. Gender Inequality Index, Gender Development Index, Gender Empowerment Index. So, Gender inequality is measured on the range of 0 to 1 where 1 represents fair equality and 0 represents poor equality. Rather, it's given wrong. 0 means 0% 0 inequality. 1 means 100% inequality. So, 4 is also wrong. So, 3 and 4 stands incorrect. Remember, the question is asked not correct. The mystery of a bizarre quacking popularly known as the bioduck sound which appears in the winter and spring in southern Antarctic Ocean has finally been solved. Now, that's the underwater chatter of mink whale. Recently, it was in the news, just a, just a fact, do not need to research more about this. It's the mink whale in that area which gives that quack quack sound. Option A stands correct. The Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs of India recently gave its not for implementation of Rural Water Supply and Sanitation Project. Which of the following statements regarding the project are not correct? Order. It aims to provide rural water supply and sanitation facilities in northeastern states of India. Well, is it northeastern states? Not just that, it's the low income state which includes Assam, Bihar, Jharkhand, and Uttar Pradesh. So, well, of course, when first goes wrong, so sincerely, we only have uh, we have this option as rejected. So, one only, one, two, one, and three. Now, the project will be implemented with the assistance of ADP. It's not ADB, it's World Bank. So, 1 and 2 both are wrong. So, B stands correct. 
So for the such question, the data must be known. You cannot analyze much into these questions. If you don't know, well, you have to skip the question. In regard to candy vegetables, which of the following statements are correct? Vegetables are filled with solution of salt. Well, it's perfectly correct. Salty solution makes vegetables tastier. Yes, salty solution also decreases all types of resistance power of microorganism. Rather, it's not all types of resistance power. It's only thermal resistivity of microorganism so that helps in killing them and that makes it better so one and two are correct which of the following incidents happened during the tenure of lord chemsford well well known as lord chemsford 1916 to 1921 we have to analyze these events we will we'll have to see which one of them were then foundation of sabarmati ashram enforcement of raulat act kakori train robbery Mobla Rebellion, Mobla Rebellion, yes, of course. Mobla Rebellion in August 1921. So it's just escapes. Well, even I got confused. I remember 1921 both. So Kakori train robbery out, Jaliawala Bagh massacre, famously on 13th April 1919. Another correct option. So one, two, three stands correct. Which of the following statements is or are correct with regard to proclamation of financial emergency in India? The financial emergency. It can be extended to an indefinite period with an approval of the parliament for every six months. So, well, it doesn't need the approval of parliament for every six months. So, one is wrong and if one is wrong, the correct option starts two and three only. So, well, if you know just one option, you can get the answer. So, a resolution passed approving the proclamation of financial emergency is to be passed by other house of parliament by simple majority, correct? The president may issue directions for reduction of salaries and allowances of these and these personalities. Which of the following states and union territories are correctly arranged in according to their coastline in decreasing order? Well, in India, the states highest is Gujarat for 12-14 km, but altogether highest is Andaman and Nicobar around 1900 kilometers. Well, specifically 1962. So, Andaman and Nicobar greatest, then Gujarat then Andhra Pradesh and then Tamil Nadu that stands correct well third for D option at the first instance you can cut it down because you can avoid this because Gujarat is, has the longest coastline then A and B option also easy because Andaman and Nicobar has the longest coastline in India so well not a very difficult question Consider the following statements regarding commodity transaction tax in India. CTT, now it is levied only on non-agricultural commodities. Absolutely correct. On agricultural commodity futures, it is not levied. Any loss of traders in the commodity derivative segment due to trust transaction can be set off against income from any other source. Of course, correct. It can be set off against the income. So both the options are correct. Now, uh, recently brominated vegetable oil has been removed. Now, why is the has been removed? It has, now in many countries it has been banned and it's excessive consumption linked to memory loss, skin and nerve problems. So, well, that is correct and this is the only reason. It is prepared by hydrogenation and in this process ozone replacing substances are used. Well, not that. BVO is a food additive which is harmful for population of bees. Nothing like that. So, three option three stands correct. Consider the following statements regarding Aam Admi Bima Yojana. So, considering Aam Admi Bima Yojana, it is a social security scheme for rural landless household. Well, that is correct. It was launched in 2005. No, it was launched in 2007. So, such questions very difficult to answer because it's very difficult to remember the launching year or the founding year of all these schemes. But just if you see this question, just just by heart it, you cannot do anything else. Generally, expect one or two questions of such type in the whole paper in the exam. Do not need not worry much about this because there may there will never be more than one or two questions here. Then third, a free add-on benefit in the form of scholarship to children is also available under the scheme. So third option C option stands correct. Question number 34, now sky appears black from the moon, no life on the moon, we have three statements, three phenomena, now what can be escaped on the basis of more or less value of escape velocity? 
the very light gases such as helium and hydrogen exist on the sun well uh, it is of course means that it is because of the very high very low scale very high escape velocity that even they exist and there is no life of moon that cannot be explained because of this sky appears black from the moon <coughs> again that's correct <coughs> so one and three stands correct here the escape velocity that means if they have low escape velocity things will escape very easily and if they have high velocity escape velocity then it's not easy to escape so that is what explains some of the above phenomena year of 2004 is centenary year for gather party formation which of the following statements regarding the gather party movement is correct sohan singh bhagna was first president of gather party absolutely correct the movement spanned all across the world from eastern coast of north northern america well it's uh, actually it was from the western coast of north america that is from the californian side then and the other side the pacific coast of canada then headquarter of gadat party was called yugantar ashram and was located at san francisco this is again on west coast of united states so one and three stands correct c option 35 we have many three options in this paper in order to be qualified for election to the office of the president of india a person must fulfill following conditions which are the following are the I mean, those conditions he should be citizen of india absolutely correct he should have completed the age of 35 years yes he must be qualified for election as a member of rajya sabha no there is no such provision he must be qualified as a member of the of lok sabha rather then he must not hold the office of prophet under any local or any other authority which is subjected to government control absolutely correct we know office of prophet bill then 1 to 4 stands correct now harmadan harmadan one of the few local winds which one must study for the exam it is a dry wind which blows from sahara into gulf of guinea well absolutely correct locally it is known as doctor wind in egypt because it absorbs the moisture in the atmosphere and lowers the temperature of surrounding area creating creating soothing environment well of course it's a dry wind and in the humidity in humid area when it blows it brings down the humidity and that the temperature of the surrounding area lowers it leaves behind a dusty haze creating a problem yes that's a problem with it it leaves behind a dusty haze so d option stands correct because all three are correct here the proposed goods and services tax sought to remove which of the following well very important service tax one must know very very clearly that's an easy option now if we have three as correct so we can fairly remove a and b c and d stands here and then dual vat so dual vat is another which is value added tax that is also with that also will be removed with the introduction of gst which of the following processes are included among the ecosystem services now ecosystem services we have the list here now among that you can see not a very difficult question but of course it's very very by it's very very factual so such question generally must not get confused they seem to be easy but as they are factual sometimes we can miss it well from the options purifying air and water cycling of nutrients maintaining a biodiversity these can be the ecosystem services leaching and withering certainly cannot be it's even not in our hand at the most of the times in global warming certainly not ecosystem services so 1 3 4 and 6 stands correct which of the following statements is not correct about the rag now rag if we see the rag is divided into units it's actually about tal the tal is divided into units so must be knowing about rag so factual question clear factual must know the fact or skip it arrange the following in the correct chronological order now let's see <coughs> we will plan famously in 1945 46 august offer august offer in 1940 at the start of world war in the early phases scripps mission when british were in trouble then british uh, the crips mission came it was when the nazis were <coughs> everywhere and 
the Japanese were on the borders of India. So, 1942, C. Rajagopalacharya formally, after, in 1944, when many options failed, then cabinet mission plan, finally it came in 1946 to seal the fate. So, we can see which in which order it is. So, the correct option here is 2, 3, 4, 1, 5. In case of any dispute related to tri treaties executed before the enforcement of Indian constitution under which jurisdiction of Supreme Court of India, a litigant can fa file a case before it. Now, that is, now again, see the option. In the case of any dispute related with treaties executed before the enforcement of Indian constitution. So, if it's before the, it's just advisory jurisdiction. Consider the following statements. Now, following statements, Ross Island is the smallest island in the Andaman group. Yes, it is the smallest island just next to Port Blair. The highest point in Andaman group is Saddle Peak, again correct. The largest island in Nicobar group is Pillomino Island. Well, it's not correct. The largest island is Great Nicobar Island. The highest point in Nicobar group is Mount Tholier, again correct. So, 1, 2, 4 stands correct. Again, <coughs> options based on facts. Consider the following statements regarding banking ombudsman scheme. Now, which of the options above are correct? The banking ombudsman is a senior official appointed by respective banks to redress customer complaints against deficiency in certain banking services of the respective banks. Well, if we see, it's not by the respective banks, it's by the a regulatory body in India, which is RBI. All scheduled commercial banks, regional banks, and scheduled primary cooperative banks are covered under this scheme. Yes, banking ombudsman does not charge any fee for filing and resolving customer complaints. Yes, so two and three stands correct. So, well, of course, if one is wrong, then automatically you can choose the answer easily. Why are Bengal tortoise in Galapagos? It's actually Galapagos. Islands became extinct within a decade after goats were introduced on the island. Well, goats were invasive species and were carrier of deadly virus which infected the native tortoise. It's wrong. Initially, goats fed on eggs of the tortoise. Again, wrong. Goats grazed on a wild weed which acted as an intermediate host in a development cycle of eggs. Goat had greater browsing efficiency. So, well, that's the reason that they could roam about the area and that resulted in the extinction of Abingdon tortoise. Well, goats were invasive species and were carrier of deadly virus which infected the native tortoise. It's wrong. Initially, goats fed on eggs of the tortoise. Again, wrong. Goats grazed on a wild weed which acted as an intermediate host in a development cycle of eggs. Goat had greater browsing efficiency. So, well, that's the reason that they could roam about the area and that resulted in the extinction of Abingdon tortoise. Recently, Parasil Island, here in news, we know, in the South China Sea. They are a group of islands in South China Sea whose sovereignty is claimed by People's Republic of China and Vietnam. Another, or another one in the series of disputes by China. There are no permanent human residents except military personnel and fishermen. Well, of course, that's correct. Currently, there are no permanent human residents. Currently, these islands are controlled by PRC. Yes, recently we saw a rig being installed by China and then protests in Vietnam against Chinese nationals. So, one, two, three stands correct. In regard to the function of kidneys, consider the following statements. Excretion of nitrogenous waste product, maintenance of pH standard, maintenance of osmotic pressure. Now, function of kidneys, considering the statements, all the three are correct. It, maintenance of pH standard, maintenance of osmotic pressure and excretion of nitrogenous waste. All the three is performed by the kidney. Which of the following statements is or are correct? Considering now Swami Vivekananda and the earlier socio-religious movements in India, Swami Dayanand's slogan of back to Vedas was a call for revival of Vedic learning and Vedic purity of religion and not revival of Vedic times. Now, well, uh, correct, Swami Devan Dayanand's slogan, 
Raja Ram Mohan Roy was the initiator of public agitation on political issues. Yes, in 1820s, in 18, early, late 18, first, second decade of 18th, 19th century, then in 1820s he was the initiator of public agitation. Swami Vivekananda abhorred materialism and preached ascetic way of life for attaining spiritual transcendence. He never rather preached ascetic way of life, so it cannot be taken as correct. So Swami Vivekananda's point here is wrong and 1 and 2 stands correct. Do read this because it will be helpful in ethics paper also, paper 4 ethics. So, which among the following are members of selection committee for the selection of chairman of national Human Rights Commission of India. Now among them, if we see the answer, we can get Prime Minister, Speaker of Lok Sabha, Deputy Chairman of Lok Raj Sabha, Leader of Opposition in Lok Sabha, Leader of Opposition in Raj Sabha and Union Home Minister. These six are the selection, this is the selection committee for the selection of Human Rights, Chairman of NHRC. And you know it was, he must be a former Chief Justice of India. So among them, A option stands correct. Consider the following statements. Ainus are people of Mexico. Well, if you know, Ainus were the people of Japan. Are the people of Japan. Mongoloids were the earliest human race to inhabit on Earth. If it's not Mangl Mongoloids, it's Negroids. From the African Valley, they started and then they had spread to the other areas. Hottentos belong to Negroid race. So, well, it's correct, Hottentos. Khoisanoids belong to the Hottentos and Bushmen. It is again correct. So, first and second stands wrong. Question number 51. Recently, RBI tightened provision norms for unhedged foreign currency exposure. Now, which of the statements correctly explains the need for such a step? Now, why do commercial banks do that? Now, as explained, commercial banks, well, you to keep more capital as cover against loans given to companies which are vulnerable to foreign exchange fluctuations. Now, just to decrease the risk of their exposure due to currency volatility in the financial system, then foreign, sea, foreign currency exposure norms are released. So, well, of seeing the options, you can say to keep aside more capital as cover against loans given to commercial banks to companies that are vulnerable to foreign exchange fluctuations. Well, to instruct the banks to follow policies which attract more direct investments, FDIs, no. To protect Indian banks from fluctuations in stock markets across the world, further wrong, not even linked. The, to prevent evasion of tax, another unlinked to the current given phenomena. Consider the following phases of a population growth in a habitat with limited resources. Mm -hmm. Going further, uh, the phases of a population growing in a habitat First, it's the lag phase, then comes the phase of acceleration and deceleration, and then comes the phase of asymptote. Now, uh, in a, when we say that there is a habitat with limited resources, then they initially show, you know, that is what is called a sigmoid curve, and uh, they initially show that they lag, then they show a phase of acceleration, and then a phase of asymptote that goes on to the Perpetuity. So it's 2, 3, 1. Consider the following statements regarding Indra Gandhi National Window Widow Pension Scheme, IG and WPS. Another scheme. I again tell you for these schemes, just remember what's given in there. The applicant must be a widow in the age group of 40 to 59 years. It was launched in February 2009. The applicant should belong to a higher soul living below poverty line. Then it is completely funded by central government. No, it's not completely funded by central government. Rather, state government also contributes an equal amount. So state government plus central government. So fourth stands incorrect and one, two, three stands correct. So well, IG and WPS, another of the scheme for schemes, I would say just remember what's asked and uh, rem remember these correct lines by heart this this may be uh, in a way preparation for these schemes because there are a number of schemes it's impossible to remember uh, most of them consider the following factors absorption dispersion and reflection which of the factors given above are responsible for weakened signals of direct to home 
the system during rain well absorption less absorption is there and then dispersion well of course dispersion is more the signal attenuation that is given by may wave this absorption of by the raindrops signal scattering due to refraction and diffraction of electromagnetic waves in and around raindrops so absorption is there and then there is a wide dispersion so and but reflection certainly not the reason one and two stands mm -hmm. correct earlier approach of the indian national congress towards princely states was not to interfere but later on it actively back the movements in these states which of the following reasons brought this distinct change in attitude of congress now government of india act 1935 projected a scheme of federation which brought princely states into a direct constitutional relationship with british india well this is absolutely correct again formation of congress ministries in majority of province in british india yes it also stands correct mahatma gandhi was a native of princely state rather than british india no so mahatma gandhi's being resident of a princely state well is it a reason again read the question which of the following reason brought this distinct change in attitude of congress well that is certainly not the reason many members of the congress ministries belong to the princely states again similarly even if many had the even if they are they were they belong to princely states well uh, actually it's not true still it is not related it's not the reason so one and two only stands correct consider the following statements regarding the governor of indian state he can nominate a member to the state legislative assembly from the anglo indian community yes one member he can make advances out of the contingency fund of the state to meet any unforeseen expenditure correct he is the chief spokesman of the state government no it's the chief minister who is the chief spokesman so easy question third option is just easy to exclude and thus answer a option a begins the correct answer the fishermen in coastal areas generally prefer to go for deep sea fishing in midnight and then return in noon now reason now why at night and because at night if we see there are the breeze the land breeze which help them to take far away into the sea and at and when it comes when towards the morning it's the river side it's the opposite side that this is the direction if this is the shore and this is the sea so it's easy to sail back so that is the reason that fishermen are able so thus fishermen are able to sail farther in ocean now question number 58 average annual growth in per capita food consumption has been higher than the overall growth in consumption since 1950 the data is given average annual growth of per capita expenditure on medical and health sorry the, on food has been rather lower than the overall growth in consumption since 1950 now well of course average this is asked about just average annual growth and this is overall growth so highly likely that overall growth will be more and that is correct the share of protein foods with overall food expenditure increased yes average annual growth of per capita expenditure on medical and health care is lower than the transport and communication again it's correct the average is given it's around 3.3% 3.6% for health and medical transport and communication it's 5.5 why environmentalists are alarmed about microbeads the tiny bits of plastic used in cosmetic products going further they are too small to be filtered out of the water treatment plant so they are ending up in oceans and lakes correct they act like sponges that soaking up toxins like pesticides and flame retardants many species of the fishes plankton and tuna ingest bits of plastic by which means toxins may end up in food chain again further correct so 1 2 3 all are correct very very important about the microbeads according to samakhya philosophy prakriti or nature is comprised of three guna now what samakhya philosophy says the three guns are creation preservation and transformation which is called sattva rajas and tamas these are the following statements regarding the gupta age in india the characters of higher and lower classes of plays written during this age do not speak the same language well that's correct prakrit was the court language of the guptas it was actually sanskrit then the women of two lower one had 
considerable freedom in up comparison to upper varnas rather it is correct so one and three is correct and well at that time the higher classes had language as sanskrit which was as the court language and lower classes used prakrit which of the following statements regarding upsc is is or are correct the chairman and members of the commission shall hold office for a ter term of 6 years until they attain the age of 65 years which is earlier which is earlier very correct the chairman of upsc is not eligible for further employment in government of india or state absolutely correct the entire expenses including the salaries and pensions of the chairman and members of upsc is charged in consolidated fund of india again correct meat packaging industry of argentina is famous worldwide the why what is the reason alfalfa grass which is highly nutritious for livestock is found there absolutely correct alfalfa grass for the livestock rearing it's grown it's it, it's highly nutritious alfalfa plant can regrow many times after being grazed or harvested that's the biggest advantage then further the temperate climate of argentina also contributes temperate further constitute contributes rather than the tropical climate that we have in our country which has extreme temperatures of course higher temperatures during the summer which <coughs> decreases which contributes to the other unhealthy development consider the following statements regarding fera and fema well violation of fera was a criminal offense whereas fema is a civil offense it's correct fera was very draconian but fema is not that draconian citizenship is the criteria to determine the citizenship status of a person under fera as well as fema well citizenship is not the criteria it's the residential status and which says if you stayed more than 182 82 days of in country then that is the criteria so one only stands correct both human activity and natural phenomena are leading a sustained attack on world's coral reef which of the following reasons are behind the loss of coral reefs the white plague certainly very important they are behind it is a bacterial disease acidification of oceans we know as as acidification of oceans increases there is a particular ph range where whether where coral reefs can survive then increase in temperature again further temperatures temperatures are also also have to be in a range around 27 degrees celsius where the coral reefs can survive so increase in temperature is also a reason decreasing amount of calcium carbonate in ocean well that's not the reason and rather calcium carbonate dissolved calcium in oceans is a vast quantity so there is no such decrease overall 1 2 and 3 stands the reason for it for carbonate you can also read further naturally corals grow by taking calcium carbonate out of the water as the oceans become more acidic that process cannot occur which leads coral dissolving question number 6 to 6 Recently, the world's highest tunnel for high-speed trains began its operation in China. Well, Chinese another engineering marvel and another effort to connect its wide and autonomous areas. The operation of line links Gansu Province and Xinjiang Uyghur Autonomous Region of China. Absolutely correct. It traverses the wind-ravaged Taklamakan Desert. Rather, it is the Gobi Desert, which is dry and barren. It passes through Kilian Mountains. Yes, correct. So one and three stands correct. Such information is difficult to get, but second in the second statement is not very difficult. One must be aware of this. So if you exclude second, we just have one and option two options left. So some of the information can help you. In in ex vivo gene therapy, desired gene is delivered into human body. In in vivo gene therapy, cells from human blood are removed. Now ex vivo and in vivo gene therapy examples are given now it's actually the reverse that they have cells from human blood are removed in ex vivo and desired gene is delivered into human body in in vivo so neither of them are correct the set of vallabhachar now we see the set of vallabhachar he taught its disciples to live an ascetic life now well if we see that it doesn't doesn't say that it doesn't say to turn their backs on the worldly pressures they many of them lead a comfortable life it believed in singing devotional songs and dancing as a way of worship of god 
absolutely correct it opposed fast and self mortification again that is also correct 2 and 3 stands correct consider the following statements regarding the central vigilance commission of india the chairman and members of cvc are appointed by the president on the recommendation of a three member committee consisting of the prime minister as its head central home minister and leader of opposition in lok sabha going further the chairman and members hold office for a term of 6 years or until they attain the age of 62 years whichever is earlier the well it's not 62 years it is actually 65 years so just second option goes wrong and as second goes wrong it automatically gives us c as the correct answer it has all powers of civil court uh, again correct and one was already correct an enclave is in any portion of a country that is entirely surrounded by the territory of another country and a counter enclave is also known as chit mahals in the indo bangladesh context ladar chit mahal is the local name of enclave in west bengal and bangladesh so in it's the name of enclaves in bangladesh and india so well if you know if suppose this is the boundary of west bengal and we have enclaves here here so these are indian enclaves which are in the bangladeshi territory similarly they also have this now what is counter enclave now there is enclave within an enclave there are enclaves where which have indian land and within them they have bangladeshi land so remember this is actually a reality so a option stands correct the government of india levies service tax on the services rendered by restaurants well of course they levy it the service tax is levied on restaurants which are air conditioned yes it's the service tax on the air conditioned restaurants currently service tax is 12.36% on the total bill it's actually 12.36% of 40% so it comes down to around 4.94% the restaurants are free to charge any amount as service charges as there are no guidelines provided by the tax authority well yes service charges is the charge by the restaurant for the services rendered to its customers it's they are free to charge whatever they like and uh, it depends on the consumer to accept it or not so 1 2 and 4 it has been found that jackfruit could be a replacement for staple crops under threat from climate change now let's see the statements in this regard it could be a replacement of wheat corn and other staple crops under the threat from climate change absolutely correct jackfruit is the largest known tree borne fruit it survives pests and diseases in high temperatures that is the most important point it survives these ex- these hazards it is drone re- drought resistant further it gives a very good option against the climate change so 1 2 3 4 all stands correct which of the following statements correctly defines the sudhar scheme now which of the following statements it is a scheme to provide primary need of shelter food clothing and care to be marginalized women girls living in difficult circumstances without any social and economic support straight question just know it and tick the mark and move to the next question such static questions do not try do not use a extra analysis rather stick to the question straight a person standing on a turn table with his arms stretched and the table is rotated all of a sudden the person brings his arms closer what is the change we found now well the conservation of angular momentum will have when the moment of inertia is decreased angular speed will increase so the correct answer is speed of the table is found to increase due to increase in moment of inertia so angular momentum is conserved in this case though there was influence of british raj and its hegemony still the congress grew and survived what were the reasons behind it initially the congress was under the patronage of british authorities yes a rising indian educated class was associated with the congress yes the princely states were staunch allies of congress rather the princely states were never that strong allies of congress so 1 and 2 only stands correct rather if we read further the founded upon the authority of british civil servant 
Mr. Alan Octavian Hume, the Congress was created to form a platform for civic and political dialogue. So, which is, we you know, way which is also called the wall safety wall theory. The safety wall theory subscribes to the theory that it is formed because it was formed because they want because the British wanted to <coughs> release some of the pressure from the intelligentsia and from the from the educated Indian so that so that some of the issues can be directly dealt by them. Then further, ironically, a few reasons the Congress grew and survived in the era of indisputed British hegemony was through the patronage of British authorities. Well, of course, correct. They needed them to survive also. Which among the following statements regarding quorum in a state assembly of India are correct? Now, what is quorum? It's the minimum members in the assembly required to be present so that the business can be transacted. So it is 10 members or one tenth of the total members of the house. Now, whichever is greater should be there. If there is no quorum during a meeting of the house, it is the duty of presiding officer either to adjourn the house or to suspend the meeting until there is quorum. So if that strength is not there, it, the speaker can, presiding or the presiding officer can suspend or adjourn, so can adjourn the house and then suspend the meeting until the quorum is being maintained. So straight question, not difficult one for a good learner, for a good student, for this question must not be difficult, must be aware of these facts. India's latitudinal and longitudinal extent are almost the same, but its east-west extent measured in kilometers is lesser than its north and extent because the distance between longitudes is greatest at the equator and nil at the poles where all latitudes join. It, it's actually, you know, what, what, what's the reason? When we say about equator, when we say about equator and the latitudes, the distance is around 111 km between latitudes. But on the other hand, when we talk about longitudes, the distance increases towards equator, but the distance at the higher longitudes, it's less. So generally, even if the extent is almost same, the distance of the longitude is large, latitude is larger than the longitudes. So option C stands correct. Sorry, option B stands correct. Consider the following statements regarding Employee Provident Fund and Public Provident Fund in India. Now, uh, EPF is available to the people who are self-employed or are from unorganized sectors. So, well, if we see that, it's actually PPF which is available to the people who are self-employed or from unorganized sectors. Any citizen can invest in PPF. Absolutely correct. In case of PPF, the amount deposited can be withdrawn on maturity of period of 15 years. Correct. EPF is a fund to which both the employee and employer contribute 12% of the employee's basic salary amount each month and this percentage is preset by the government. Absolutely correct. Many of you must be earning that too. So 2, 3, 4 all stands correct. Why the wetlands of South India, Southwest India are one of the best carbon sinks in the country? The reason is because of the abundance of wood fossils along with the dissolved carbon. So well of course that results as the carbon sink in the country. Chow is a famous martial dance from the eastern India that was recently incorporated in the list of intangible cultural heritage of humanity of UNESCO. What does Chow dance means? That is the Chow means the mask of performers. So it's in East Northeastern India, Chow in Eastern rather, who were Amar Nayaks in the Vijayanagar Empire. Well, straight question. These were the military commanders who were given territories to collect taxes and other dues from peasants, craftsmen and traders in the area. So basically they were the real leaders of the real commanders of the areas. Now, consider the following statement regarding Zonal Councils of India. The Zonal Council, an important measure. Now, Home Minister of Central Government is the common chairman of all Zonal Councils. Absolutely correct. He leads the Zonal Councils. There are nine zonal councils, rather there are six zonal councils which include Northern, Central, Eastern, Southern, Western and last one is Northeastern which is separate. So option one is the only correct answer. What are the main reasons for crisis in Sudan region? The Sudan 
very uh, civil war since last 10 15 years then highly volatile area um, stricken with poverty and civil war in south sudan there is no dominant culture hence ethnic clashes are very often well absolutely there is no dominant culture in northern sudan rather there is arabs culture the muslims there are in the majority the dinkas and the newers are two main ethnic groups engaged in clashes in south southern sudan again correct major oil region rise in south sea region now this is currently making another problem so south region has the major oil region north sudan and south sudan are very similar geographically but great divide is due to ethnic differences so well it's not actually um, they are similar in geography they have very different so north sudan has north sudan is mostly covered by desert south sudan rather has bit of fertile area also north sudan and um, south sudan basically they depend on again another on the oil's revenue and to divide the oil wealth currently the problem is going on and which is their main resource of revenue so one two three stands correct consider the following statements and we have to see which of them are is correct the world economy has been witnessing a sliding trend in growth rate for last 10 years. Well, it's correct. Wholesale price index inflation in India was less than the core inflation. Rather, core inflation was less than WPI. So, core inflation was around 3% and WPI around 5%. Agricultural GDP growth rate in India was more than the targeted growth rate during the last fiscal year. Absolutely correct last year was more than the targeted growth rate so the correct option is one and three which makes it c as the correct option why net primary productivity is always less than the gross primary productivity now well productivity can be divided in the nor in the net and gross we can read the definitions the gross primary productivity of an ecosystem is the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis and this considerable amount of GPP is utilized by plants in respiration. Now, when we exclude that, we get add, we get as net primary productivity. So, on the basis of this, the correct answer is considerable amount of GPP is utilized by plants in the process of respiration. So, 85 correct answer is D. Consider the following statements regarding the Polvorum project in Andhra Pradesh. It is only an irrigation project. Well, of course, it's an irrigation project, but not only an irrigation project. Uh, produces electricity also. So, it's a multi-purpose project across Krishna River. It's across Godavari River. It reservoirs pits in Chhattisgarh and Odisha. Well, absolutely correct. So, the correct answer stands as three only, one and two wrong. Resistance to antibiotics poses a major global threat to public health. How? Well, currently it has become a very big threat. Now, uh, in opposed antibiotic era, people are dying from simple infections that have been treatable for decades. Yes, there have been cases because the disease resistant, because the antibiotic resistance, drug resistant bacteria have been produ produced. Carbapenem, so called RAS resort, is no more helpful now. Yes, absolutely correct. In recent past, many cases of cancers caused by bacteria have been reported which are beyond treatment. Well, it's not such. If you read the reason, it's the basically the bacteria mutate and become resistant to antibiotics, whereas erstwhile, while quite effective against the bacterial infection, increased cases of cancer caused by bacteria are not of a grave concern. So when we talk about the antibiotics, it many bacteria has mutated and grown into drug resistant bacteria drug resistant bacteria and that is why it has become immune to antibiotics so one two and four stands correct cancers caused by bacteria is still not that grave concern and not beyond the treatment limits the active phase in the development of nationalist foreign policy in india began after 1936 well, the fascism was getting strong, it was condemned by Congress as the most disastrous phase of imperialism. Yes, fascism was condemned by Congress and very much against that. 
1936 was celebrated at Ethiopia Day in India, expressing sympathy and support to its attack against the attack made by Italy and Ethiopia. Very well, Italy had attacked Ethiopia. That was a very good result. The Spanish Civil War against fascist powers was supported by the Congress at Fasbur session presided by P. Pattabhi Satsita Ramaya. No, it was actually presided by Pandit Jawahar Lal Nehru. One of the, of course, one of the greatest prime ministers of this country, and then first prime minister of this country. So one and two stands correct. Which among the following statements regarding the removal process of a judge of a high court in India is or are correct? A removal motion signed by hundred member members in Lok Sabha or fifty members in Rajya Sabha is to be given to the speaker or chairman. Well, yes, to remove a judge in high court, the judge of high court, this is the um, step. The speaker chairman has to admit the motion, any one of them can or cannot refuse it. It's actually, it's rather, it's within the power of speaker or chairman to accept the reject the motion regarding the removal process of the high court. But if the motion is admitted, then the speaker chairman has to constitute a three member committee to investigate the charges so only one option one is correct in this case as second and third stands wrong so this 10 member must be a three member committee and has to admit in, instead of this it must be admit or reject now question number 90 According to a new study, El Nino and La Nina events can have a significant impact on the yields of certain major food crops. Consider the following statements in this regard. Now, El Nino, this year may be El Nino year or rather it is going to be an El Nino year. There, are, there will be decrease in rainfall and we know currently the it's in the news these days. Now, El Nino can increase maize yields on a large scale. Rather, it's, it's different. It can decrease the maize yields by up to 4 to 5 percent. So, this is wrong. Contrary to reduce the yields of some major oil, likely to improve the global mean soya bean yield. Yes, it's correct. It is likely to improve the global mean soya bean yield. Then, El Nino and La Nina after tempera alter temperature and rainfall patterns in many regions around the world and thus affecting the crop yields. Absolutely correct. That's the biggest threat by El Nino and La Nina. Which of the following criteria the non-banking financial micro institution should satisfy according to the guidelines issued by RBI? Now 91, question number 91. Loan to be extended without collateral. Yes, it's there. Agricult aggregate amount of loans given for income generation should not be less than 75% of the total loans given by MFIs. Absolutely correct. Loan in is repayable on weekly, fortnightly or monthly installments at the choice of the borrower. Again, correct. So... These are the three stands, one, two, and three. It's correct. How ecosystems are related with laws of thermodynamics? Now, well, thermodynamics law, it's the unidirectional flow of energy from sun to producers and then to con consumers. So then, in, as in thermodynamics, it is the unidirectional flow of energy. Then to counteract the Universal tendency towards increasing disorderly ecosystems need a constant supply of energy. Yes, absolutely correct. That is needed to continue with the order. Otherwise, it will become highly disordered in the absence of constant supply of energy. So, both 1 and 2 stands correct. Which of the following schemes were subsumed in the Swan Jayanti Shahri Rozgar Yojana, which was launched in 1997? So which of these? Shehru Yojana, Yojana was urban basic services also and Prime Minister's integrated urban poverty eradication scheme also. Then Ajivika is actually it was in NRLM which was recently launched by Ministry of Rural Development. So 1, 2, 3 stands correct which makes A option as correct. Consider the following statements regarding non-narcotic and narcotic analgesics. Coming further, so what's analgesic? Well, of course, must be commonly knowing the pain relievers. The aspirin inhibits the synthesis of chemicals known as prostaglandins, which stimulate inflammation in the tissue or 
cause pain. Well, it's correct about aspirin. Then aspirin works as a vasodilator and hence is prevent hence helps in prevention of heart attacks. Rather, it's actually it's histidine, which is a potential vasodilator. The narcotic analgesics are chiefly used for the relief of post-operative pain, cardiac pain, and pains of terminal cancer and in childbirth. Yes, these are used. So one, three are correct. The Mughal regime in India is significant in many ways. In this regard, consider the following statements. The use of gunpowder was the first time in India. India could take a greater share in the trans-Asian trade. It protected India from external invasion for nearly 200 years. Well, if we see the Mughal regime, well, it protected India from invasion. Yes, correct. India could take a greater share in trans-Asian trade. It actually increased. Gunpowder was in stew in what was used for first time. Rather, it had been introduced even before the Mughals had come to India. So... 1 and 2 only stands correct. Consider the following statements regarding Committee on Public Undertakings of the Parliament in India. All the members of the committee are from Lok Sabha. No, it's not. It's only the Estimates Committee in which the members are from Lok Sabha. Here 15 from Lok Sabha and 7 from Raj Sabha. The Chairman of Committee is appointed by the Leader of the House and Leader of Opposition in the House. The Chairman of Committee is rather appointed by the Speaker from the member which is drawn which have been drawn from Lok Sabha so one also wrong two also wrong then its recommendations are binding on the ministries no it's not binding they are mere advisory and they can be rejected so all of them are wrong so there's none of them are correct now uh, the problem of urban heat island these days not in northern India the cities are facing the problem an urban heat island is a metropolitan area that is comparatively warmer than its surrounding rural areas in night. Absolutely correct. Well, we know that because of the exhaust and the concrete, a large, a large amount of heat energy is absorbed and at night it keeps them warmer. The main cause of the urban heat island is constructing tall buildings that do not let terrestrial radiations escape from earth. Very important and it keeps on absorbing and that's another thing contributing in the increased temperature. So both 1 and 2 are correct. Currency paper in India is composed of cotton and cotton rag. The responsibility for coinage vests with Government of India on the basis of Coinage Act 2011. Currency chests in India are the storehouses, generally the select branches of scheduled banks where banknotes and rupee coins are stocked on behalf of Reserve Bank of India. Well, of course, all the statements are correct. In India, composed of cotton and cotton rag, then responsibility with the coinage act do read about coinage coinage act it's important some question may pop up because since last two years not question has not been asked from this part consider the following statements regarding blue carbon now these days another important now thing in the news now it is a concept which provides understanding of the important role of australia's coastal and marine water wetlands under this concept, a project named Coastal Carbon Cluster has been launched. This concept is significant for any ecosystem because it aims to protect and restore marine environments to store atmospheric carbon. Well, recent and it's pure factual, must have read, otherwise you cannot answer it by logic. So, must be aware of this. And remember, in GS, you don't have to answer every question. So, do not get panic if you don't know some of the questions. It will be with all of us. It will be there. It will be with all of us, actually. In ancient India, surgeons were familiar with, well, surgical instruments, methods of surgery and bone setting, plastic surgery. Well, if we know Sushrut Samhita, we have, we have mentioning of surgical instruments. Then there were some of the uh, operations which said about plastic surgery, cataract and setting. Of course, not in the modern form, but there were some of the, some of the details. So all the three stands correct. So that's how we finish the analysis. Again, I say, must be able to answer quite a good questions and 
that will help you in taking your final exam that's on 24th August.